hello guys welcome back to your number one agricultural and agribusiness youtube channel let's talk about greenhouse farming in case you are watching for the first time my name is Lao Lucha Lawa, and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture so if that is exactly what you have been looking for why not click on subscribe button to have access to more of my videos today's episode we'll be looking at greenhouse farming what exactly is greenhouse farming uh what are the types of greenhouse and why uh why or what are the benefits of greenhouse and maybe some few disadvantages or can i say disadvantage oh okay the few cons the other side of it so to start with uh greenhouse farming is simply farming in an enclosed environment as the name implies green green means cultivation house so a house where, where you can practice cultivation where you can grow food where you can do farming essentially inside the house so in essence greenhouse is farming in an enclosed environment uh, whereby you can control uh, uh, weather elements like temperature, rainfall, uh, sun intensity, so much more. So that is basically greenhouse. And we have a whole lot of it. We have different type and different uh, shape. Uh, actually, greenhouse is being categorized in two, in two ways, I mean. So it's either by the shape or it's either by the type of material it's been made of. So looking at the type of material, we have a whole lot of it. They are more sophisticated than each other. So we have the, the one that is made with a pipe, the pipe framed one. And we have the ones that are made with a wood, wood framed one, wood and net. Those are the locally uh, made ones. And we also have the ones that are made with PVC. Uh, we have the ones that are made with uh, uh, this uh, black net. And so much and so much. Uh, we, have, we also have uh, the ones that are made with glass. It all depends on the technology available to you. It all depends on the expertise and the amount of money you want to dedicate into it. So, don't mistake greenhouse to a greenhouse so uh greenhouse is majorly for growing uh cultivation growing food or doing experiment pertaining to plant screenhouse they are being uh, mostly used in a situation whereby you you construct a structure that will look like a greenhouse but it's not for growing they are normally used for uh, drying uh, farm commodities so that's not where i'm going today so what are the benefits of greenhouse because a whole lot of people are looking in the direction because we are having a whole lot of greenhouse springing up and the reason why many people why we are having a whole lot of uh, greenhouses springing up every day some people don't know some people just feel it's fashion it's not fashion so in this video, let me talk about some few uh, benefits or the advantage or the uses of greenhouse. So the number one uh, benefit attached to greenhouse farming is that it makes it possible for a farmer to cultivate multiple times in a season, to cultivate all year round. So because you are farming in an exclusive environment and bearing it in mind, if you are if you want to run a proper greenhouse you sh you must have uh, a source of water supply so having a greenhouse makes it possible for you to farm all year round because it offers a very very unique opportunity for you to control weather element to control the adverse effects of weather and climate on your farm on your crop so that is the number one uh, benefit of uh, greenhouse. The number two benefit of greenhouse is that it, uh, 
protect your farm from pests, thereby making you to spend very little or very less on pesticide or the fighting of, of, of pests. Don't forget, it's an enclosed environment. So the, the introduction of pests in the house uh, will be very, very minimal, unlike compared to what is obtainable on the field when you are doing an open field farming. So farmers in the greenhouse spend less more on pesticide than farmers who farm on the open farm, on the open field, I mean. So that's another uh, benefit of greenhouse. Another benefit of greenhouse is that it makes it possible for farmers, especially people who are producing uh, veggies, spices, and vegetables. Let me just use the word vegetables. The product from greenhouses are cleaner and they look more attractive, really, because uh, you cannot compare it with the open feed. It's like it, you have it in an enclosure. It's just like you, you know all those uh, get inside, get inside babies. You know now the one we call ajebotas, uh, the the inside the gate uh, babies. So those ones, you know, they look neater. So that same thing about the product from the greenhouse. Because they are not being exposed to all this splash and splosh of the open feed. And lastly but not the least, it gives you the opportunity to do some control. To control temperature, to control sun intensity, if you have the technology. Because we have different type of greenhouses according to specification, according to sophistication. So you can, in some greenhouse, you can control temperature, you can control sun intensity, you can control humidity, everything. So it gives you the opportunity to control uh, weather element, to sweet the type of crop you are growing in the greenhouse. So, and let me put this in. Uh, the disadvantage, I don't want to use the word disadvantage. Uh, the, the pros and the cons. So the other side of greenhouse is that, it's not a joke to own a greenhouse. If you want a standard greenhouse, it's not rice and beans. Greenhouse are expensive. That's just it. Greenhouse are expensive. And the running cost of it is also expensive. So if you are not somebody that you have a guarantee uh, of ticker that will be taking off the produce you are producing from your greenhouse, it's not advisable for you to take 2 million, 3 million, 4 million euro and invest on the greenhouse. And at the end of the day, you'll be struggling to sell your produce. Because the produce of greenhouse are usually sold at a very, uh, at an higher premium, more than the open feed uh, product. As in, a bit, a bit higher than what is obtainable on the open feed. And also, due to the fact that you are producing in an enclosed environment your production will be neater and it will be much because you have less of pest uh, attack on your farm so another disadvantage about uh, greenhouse farming is that if by mistake you are careless a disease investigation in your greenhouse can cost you your farm or can cost you a whole lot in your farm because you are cultivating in an close in a closed environment so any spark anywhere the spread of diseases are very very fast in an enclosed environment compared to the open feed that is uh, what is also applicable in uh, intensive poultry system when you are doing uh, livestock in an intensive system when a disease happens, it spreads faster in an open, uh, in an enclosed environment, I mean. So those are the disadvantages uh, associated with uh, greenhouse. So, my dear, you've been looking at greenhouse, you want to do greenhouse. It's good, but I want to advise you, be very sure you are not doing it for the fashion. Be very sure you have a purpose of doing it. Be very sure you have a ready market to take off what you want to produce. Greenhouse is good 
it helps us to build a kind of resilience against the effect of climate change. It's not for the fun of it. So get it right. And if you are doing greenhouse, get ready to have your supply in check. You need, uh, you need a constant water supply. Because what's the essence of you having a greenhouse and you are not doing dry season farming? It doesn't make sense at all. You have to sink a bowl and make water available for you to do what others who are planting, who are cultivating in the open field cannot do. That's the essence of it. You have to be producing all year and that's the essence of having greenhouse. So my dear, it's not fashion. It's not because you are seeing people doing it all around. You will not take your 3 million or 4 million to go and invest in an uh, in an on greenhouse. So that is that about it. And if you want to uh, construct a greenhouse, I have a capable hand. I have a capable hand I can recommend. You know, this is the first time I'll be recommending somebody on this channel. I have somebody we graduated together from the University of Lorry. His name is Michael. Uh, he was my senior, a year senior during during our time in the University of Lorry. We studied agriculture together, and he has a company, as in a big company setting up greenhouse across Nigeria. He's a capable and and he has a whole lot of offer in place for startup and people who want to set up a greenhouse. You can contact him. His name. Uh, the name of his company on Facebook is Frontiers Agribusiness. You can search him up on Facebook. And maybe if you need this contact, you can also uh, reach out to me. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic. And I hope you got value one way or the other. If you got value from this video, kindly give it a like. Share with your friends so that we can reach our more audience. And, you know, you'll be helping somebody in the process. Thank you so much for your time. And see you in my next video. Shishi.